Greetings, everybody, and welcome to Professional Photography Tips. My name is Josh Cripps, and you can find me on Instagram and Facebook at Joshua Cripps Photography. Now, if you're like me, when I was learning Lightroom, I found it very frustrating. I couldn't remember what the keyboard shortcuts were. I love keyboard shortcuts, but I just couldn't remember what they are in Lightroom, and there's a ton of them. And even worse, they're different than the keyboard shortcuts are in Photoshop. And Photoshop, I know like the back of my hand. So I go to do a Photoshop keyboard shortcut and it would do something totally unexpected in Lightroom and it drove me absolutely crazy. So I figured out a way that I could actually display all of my favorite keyboard shortcuts, just like you see here in the develop module. So now I know if I ever need my spot removal brush, all I have to do is hit the Q button. If I ever want to jump to my HSL panel to make a quick adjustment, it's just control alt shift H or S or L or command option shift if you're on a Mac. If I want to zoom in, I just hit the Z key. And so this keeps all my keyboard shortcuts right here, easy to access, easy to see. So how do you do it? Because normally when you load up Lightroom, it looks like this. There's nothing here. Okay, so this is the beauty of this. It's actually incredibly simple. If you right click in this panel area and go all the way down to the bottom of this context menu, you'll see something called panel end mark. Now the default is none, but Lightroom has a couple of other options. You can see they've got something called a small flourish. Now, if you haven't created any custom end marks, you won't see anything here, but what you will see is this go to panel end marks folder. And if you click that, it opens up this folder here in your file explorer on your computer. And you can go ahead and open that up as well. Now you can see I've got two files already in here on mine. One that has my, my logo for my photography business and one that has this text document, all of my shortcuts. And you'll see that the thing that these two files have in common is that they're PNG images. Yep, so all you have to do, you can create any PNG image you like load it into this folder, and then it will be selectable as a custom panel end mark. Now, I recommend you make the maximum width of these PNGs about 250 pixels, otherwise they'll spill off the side of the panel. If I go back into Lightroom here, now right click, I can go down to my panel end mark and click on that Lightroom shortcuts.png, and sure enough, it's loaded up all of my shortcuts here. So how did I create this shortcut? Basically, you can make a PNG in a lot of different programs. I used Photoshop, basically created a blank document, and then just typed all this in, in text. It's just plain text, and I saved that as a PNG. Now, if you don't like these shortcuts, you can make your own. That's all you gotta do. Any program where you can make a PNG, you can do it in there, save it, put it in that folder, and then you can load it up as your custom panel end mark. Now, if you don't have the ability to create PNGs, then you can go ahead and download this one. Uh, I'm giving it to you for free. So the download links will be in the video description down below. So be sure to check that out. You can just grab this one. There's one for PCs like I use, and I've also got one for Macs if you're a Mac user. And that's all there is to it. A really quick, simple way to load up all your favorite keyboard shortcuts here in the Lightroom Develop module. And if you'd like to learn more about how to actually develop your photos here in Lightroom, please check out my complete video course, Mastering Raw Processing in Lightroom. It's over two hours of totally in-depth content all about developing your photos here in Lightroom. And you can get there by clicking on the image right here. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys found this helpful. Be sure to subscribe and check out the newsletter. Until next time, have fun and happy shooting.